Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people on whose traditional lands these videos are made and welcome to you, your guides, for the guides of the universal energies. Absolute pleasure to have you along today. Um, love your comments. I read every single one of them. I put a little heart when I read them. I don't get a chance to reply to everybody. But love, love, love your comments. So thank you so much. And if there's anything you want read on, please ask. Uh, nothing's really out of bounds. Uh, I don't necessarily read on everything that's asked because I get a, sometimes the boys will tell me an answer straight away and I just put the reply in. But sometimes I feel it needs a little bit more delving. So I'm going to do a bit of delving. So entertainment only and thank you for joining me. Huge, huge, huge heart to those that are in Morocco at the moment, those that are up in the Atlas Mountains with the earthquake, 6.8. Uh, confirmed uh, deceased is uh, around the 2,100 so far. Um, I'm feeling once they get up in the mountains, the true figure is going to be uh, significantly higher. Having gone through um, a significant earthquake myself, uh, where numerous people were killed because in Australia we never built our buildings for earthquakes. Um, I can feel the, the heartbreak and the panic and the, the just disbelief that they're going through. So, so much love to the people of Morocco. It's on one of my top 10 to visits. I haven't been able to get there um, and uh, hopefully will in, in the future um, as they are rebuilding. So, Whew, a lot of energy going there at the moment. Okay, what I wanted to have a look at uh, in this particular reading, I'm using my Gilded Tarot Royale, is I was asked about Scotland. Will Scotland stay part of the UK? Now, there was a vote back in 2014 as to whether Scotland separates from the United Kingdom. I believe uh, the no vote 55 to 45, so it was... It wasn't a landslide, but it wasn't necessarily a close run thing either. However, what happened is in Scotland then when the vote came to uh, leave the European Union to, to um, forge ahead with Brexit, the Scots weren't quite as gullible as uh, some others uh, and they voted uh, 62 to 38 to stay in the EU. Now that uh, the UK has left the EU, with Brexit, a question's come up. One of my beautiful viewers asked, will Scotland uh, go to a referendum again to leave the United Kingdom and return to the EU? My gut feeling, uh, which we all have to go with, as I was talking about in my previous video, uh, whether it's a gut feeling, tea leaves, the dog fur on the bottom of your socks, cards, pendulum, dousing sticks, visions, whatever it is, uh, there is no wrong way for you to converse and connect with your guides, with the universe. And my gut feeling says that they won't separate from the UK. Uh, I think what's happened is uh, there is a realisation how stinging separating from the UK, uh, U, uh, um, uh, EU has been and now is not the time to uh, become even more uh, isolated on their own. I do have, I have read a couple of times in regards to the UK returning to the EU and I do see that it will happen, uh, but it won't be in the same way as um, they were tied, the, they were tied in with the EU as previously. So let's have a look. I'm actually going to go on a quokka moment here for those that don't know. Q-U-O-K-K-A instead of saying squirrel, I say quokka. Have a look at Google a quokka. They are the most adorable, adorable um, Australian marsupials. Um, years ago, now I am going back 35 years. Yes, I am that old, 35 years now. Um, I had been staying with some people. And they had a book on uh, a translation of revelations in the Bible. It's quite interesting. You know, I was exploring my spirituality even way back then. Uh, not sure where to go with it. This book, they just happened to have it on the bookshelf and I read portions of it. And I clearly remember as distinctly, clearly 
today, as, as if it was yesterday that I read it. But there was a section in the book that said, beware the man in the red hat, or the red headdress, I think they called it, the red headdress, um, that it will become the end of times uh, when he leads the breakup of, and, uh, of Europe. And what they were talking about was the European Union. Now, we know who the man in the red hat is. Tried his darndest, uh, started to break up the European Union, and it was a close-done thing as to whether the rest of Europe would also break apart as well. I don't see it happening now. I think what's happened is they've looked at the, the, the well, the level-headed ones have looked at what's happened uh, with... Um, the UK since they left uh, the European Union. They're also looking at what's happening with Ukraine uh, and there has been a realisation. Um, <laughs> yeah, the wise level-headed uh, have seen reality. But I just, that came to mind when I was thinking about this particular question, was that if anyone knows what that book is, let me know. Um, but it was just uh, fascinating how when you look 30 years later, you say, because I must admit, I when they talk about the man in the red headdress, I thought it would be Europe um, being a headdress and going through the times of, um, oh, I'm just trying to think who he was that used to, that was quite a powerful figure in the Middle East um, going back 25 years or so. Can't even think who it was nowadays. Uh, in the um, Israeli area, area, the Palestinian leader, I, I thought, oh, was it him? Um, but no, we know who the red-hatted one was. But let's have a look. Is Scotland is Scotland going to uh, remain in the EU? Is Scotland going to remain, sorry, in the UK? Is Scotland going to remain in the UK? Scotland going to remain in the UK. What cards do you want there, guys? What cards are you trying to give me there? That one. <laughs> is Scotland going to remain in the UK? Let's have a look. Right, this is the first one that came out. The government, the higher authorities, the, the Scottish government, I'm going to call it. It's courts, higher authorities, but the government. Okay, thank you. I just got told it's the UK. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. When your guides talk to you, you just have to trust it. Trust that what you hear is clearly in your mind is what they are telling you. They're telling me that that is the UK. The next two cards uh, we've got is, you now which one would have been next? Which one of these two guys? Yeah, thank you. They're telling me this. The challenge to the UK is going to be poor choices presented in such a way that there is delusion and greed is the challenge. So this is what Brexit was. Brexit was um, disinformation. Disinformation is information that is deliberately manipulated. Misinformation is, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to say that. What I really meant was. Um, so this is the, the disinformation from the basis of greed. And that was the challenge, the choices being presented. At the foundation, we have the three of wands, uh, a plan coming together, coming to fruition, including the overseas. Uh, yes, thank you. I'm being told that this this is the foundation. This is about a plan in progress. It hasn't actually come to an ending, um, but it is a plan in progress to work with those that are overseas. Now, I know Australia's got some new trade deals going ahead with the UK at the moment uh, that are beneficial to both parties, but this is looking overseas um, to, in, to bring about a new... Thank you... I'm being told career, but it's not. Career is the wrong word. Um, new trade deals, new agreements, new. Okay, thank you. 
I'm also being told that by the UK leaving the European Union, it has allowed the UK to independently look overseas. Um, Australia is caught up with trade agreements in in regards to the EU because France doesn't like us using the term of, of um, feta, or is it Italy? I can't remember. Feta and mozzarella and uh, parmesan it's to name our cheeses. Now, we've already given up the word champagne in, in exchange for calling our bubbly wine sparkling wine. Um, and what's happened is that the UK has not been caught up in, in those. I'm going, they're not petty for those that are involved, but they're just um, uh, disagreements that just are not, not really important, if that makes sense. Uh, it's a pro their protectionism disagreements. But, yeah, okay, so thank you. Getting back to this, I'm getting it's the UK being able to, having left the EU, able to make look overseas and make its own plans, its own agreements. Now, the question was, will Scotland um, stay in the UK? In the past, we've got the star of hope, the star of uh, healing, the star of uh, she's balancing balancing the two jugs. They're both both full of water flowing into the water. Okay, thank you. I'm getting this as about a united star. So I'm not seeing so far that they're going to leave. Let's see where this goes. Strength, strength in the planning. However, crowning this reading is, is wounding, uh, withdrawing, Something has happened where um, the truth and reality and honesty is forcing a withdrawal to step back, being hurt. Thank you, guys. They're telling me that the truth in separating for the, from the EU has hurt Scotland. Hurt it, it possibly hurt Scotland more than it hurt England. Right, going forward, King of Cups, uh, emotional maturity, the negotiator, the diplomat, the um, calm, calm mentor here going forward. Externally, whoops, the hanged man. Is Scotland going to leave the UK? I don't see it happening. There's just this pause. Now, that doesn't mean it's not may not happen in the future. Um, what I'm really feeling is it's more reunification because I see uh, Northern Ireland and Ireland, the Republic of Ireland coming together at some stage down the track. Um, they, they're just... Things are paused. It's not going to happen right now. I think they're just watching to see which way it goes. However, Scotland, I feel, is, is um, hemorrhaging money due to the separation from the EU, but they're just waiting to see how it plays. Now, I haven't investigated this at all. Literally, I looked it up and saw the, the um, uh, referendum numbers from 2014 and the numbers for the vote in regards to Brexit. I think what's happening is that Scotland, yes, they are losing money, but they're just waiting to see how it plays because I think there's negotiation going on behind the scenes. Uh, I don't know who this man is, whether he is the negotiator with the EU or whether you have a male um, a head of party in Scotland. So let's see where it goes. Two of Cups internally working together, new partnerships forming internally. Hopes and fears, um, the burden, the burden of getting the messaging. But Okay, thank you. They're pointing out to me that it's the end of a cycle. It's an end of a cycle of having to carry this burden of messaging, of messages that have come forth. Just literally the end of a cycle. There's a lot of anxiety here. Yes, I totally get that as it's as um, Scotland is 
Um, suffer. I'm going to say suffering, uh, suffering from this wounding. Uh, Scotland voted to stay in the EU, uh, and it is. Um, I'm getting it's a lot. They're doing it a lot harder. There's a lot of anxiety about whether to stay or not. But fortunes are going to be changing. The wheel of fortune. Uh, it's about um, doors opening. Other doors closing. It's about significant change coming forward and strength. Scotland will be a powerhouse of strength where it will be able to take control of its own destiny. It's looking on the bottom there. I might just ask Pendulum just to follow up. Strength in Scotland. Strength, but also compassion and empathy. Change is coming. Oops, need to take that knot out. Can't, can't have a knot in my chain. So for those uh, that are new, it's an amethyst that's been with me for, gosh, 25 years or so. A bit of wire from the craft shop and a cane in my drawer. I have found bought pendulums. Don't connect with me. It's a little bit short. Oh, I'll keep it short. This means it won't swing vigorously. Okay, guys, can I ask a question, please? Round and round means they're ready for a question. Can I ask a question, please? Will Scotland stay in the UK? Will Scotland stay in the UK? And back and forth is a yes. So what I'm really getting there is that yes, they will stay. However, new new agreements will may be brokered, uh, and and I think Scotland to a degree may have more autonomy to its own to its own destiny going forward. But I do understand it's anxious times. I get the feeling that Scotland really got done over with this vote, done over by those that were in England. Um, yeah, we've got, if I look at the base, new financial start, a volatile um, plan coming forward that is going to bring stability and security. For families, as this uh, power control over Scotland fades, we've got a significant ending, but I'm thinking this is authentic reform. I don't think, I'm, I'm not feeling that Scotland's going to leave, leave the UK, but I don't feel that it's going to be uh, as is, as part of the uh, rejoining the EU. This is interesting. I think it's more, Scotland's going to have more autonomy about how it can broker its future going forward, um, but still holding on to those. Thank you. I'm being told uh, not dictated to by London. Okay, let's see how it plays. <laughs> Love to you all. Take care.